We are in the office entryway and even though we are in the office entryway, I'm going to give you some of my best entryway tips and tricks in general, whether it's your apartment or your home, on how to decorate it to make it look really, really good and expensive while sticking to a major budget. And I think that you'll be surprised to find out some of the places that we got some of this furniture and just different hacks on how to elevate your entryway in general since it is the first thing that you see when you walk into your home apartment or in this case office so we filmed the entire process of decorating the entryway so we're gonna put these clips now but i think it's just interesting to see like the behind the scenes and the thought process of it all and then i'll come back in and I'll give you my best entryway tips and tricks on how to elevate it and just make it look really good without spending a ton of money. So I think that we basically have everything that we need for the entryway minus, um, we have those fake plants coming in, but those are coming from a floral and I think that they should be here by tomorrow. We have to get this done by tomorrow because we're doing like an office video tour. So we're kind of on crunch time. I should actually check to see when they're coming in, but they should be right there. I think I need to go to like Cynic's Day or something, which is our get, grocery store. To get real ones. Yeah, just for tomorrow. And then we got some more things. We got this at Target, which is so cute. And then eventually like, wouldn't that, I just think it would be so cute to have fabric. No, I think I mean, that's I perfect. I know, I want to, I don't know how much that is. Obviously we won't have it done for right now and then i got these which we had the other ones that i showed um or maybe we could put that in now but i ordered these like tinier ones i'm so cold i'm literally shaking it's so cold in here i'm like shaky um i got these smaller ones at etsy and then these ones were like nine dollars for all of them from amazon so they're super cheap i didn't want black so what i'm gonna do is gold rub them both them in like two seconds and i think those will look good right yeah minus the fact that they look like nipple piercings it, well, <laughs> no i think those will actually look really cute and they tie in the circle with all of the different circles and then once we gold rub them both them all we really need to do is I want to cut this frame. We got this frame from Target. What kind of mat are you doing? I want to do a super similar mat to the one. Like where there. it's like a little above. So I think I want to cut it in that same exact way. Like I really like how that looks. Yeah, where it's like a little off center. Yeah. You go to Michael's, you can buy actual mat paper. I just feel like it makes it look so much more custom and mm -hmm. planned. So I think we should be able to fit it right there. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Yeah. And then I love this. I just think that coloring is so cool. Mm -hmm. Like, how cool would it be if we, well, we already bought it, so it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. But, um, we got- We have to get the, um- We have to get the- Business actual cards. Actual business cards, but we got a long marble business card holder. So, I don't know if I, like, this is the first thing that you see when you walk into the office. Right. Um, so that's coming. I got it from Etsy from, like, a guy's literally building it, which I think is so cool. Yeah. Um, but then the business cards are just sick. I They're would, so I cool. would say that so often, sick. <laughs> um, okay, let me find. Like no, it in black on. and tan. And then for it to be, for it to say like BSL on it. Oh my God, it's so cool. Oh, it's like engraved. It's like almost like it's, engraved. Yeah, it's, it's embossed. Yeah. Embossed, right? I think that's what it's called, embossed. So I recut. And honestly, it's like, it's a little crooked, but we'll have to You can't it. tell. It's fine, whatever. Um, so, it's gonna be like that. Which is actually so cute. Cute. I mean, imagine it with like the card holder right here. And mm -hmm. it's sick. But I did get these. To fill in the planter. Perfect. Which I think will look good. Okay, it doesn't, I don't think it looks bad from afar. Exactly. It's like, just don't look too close up. You know, what? It, what's the saying? <laughs> is, there, is there a saying? <laughs> Ooh, 
Fake it till you make it. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's like your. <laughs> that is literally your life. <laughs> that's your life motto. Yeah, oh no. Okay, I almost need like a screwdriver, which. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. Get on my shoulders. Shut up. Yeah, and then hold it, but like, I think you need to hold this, but we need the good side turning out. One of these, yeah, that's a good side. She looks so expensive. I know. Wait, I don't know if I said I did say this multiple times. What? This is from Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> this is like literally the hundred sponsored by Goodwill. The hundredth mm -hmm. time of me saying that, but I mean when you find sometimes Goodwill is like really hard to find. Is that centered with the mirror? That looks good. Was it always crooked and we just didn't know? That looks, oh, that looks good. Yeah. Right now, should we add in this guy? I feel like anything that we put in here, we're just forever gonna forget about. Yeah, it's a, it's a basically a trash can. Literally, a trash can. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna go fill this with water and I'll be back. Okay. Okay, greenery. So. Get this type of greenery from my apartment just because really it's the only like good greenery that our grocery store has, but it's also cheap. So we could these for like $3.99. Okay, so I'm thinking that we go with just the like free flow and natural vibe. Mm -hmm. Which I mean, there's no other way you can do it, <laughs> like, we don't have any control. Oh, yeah. Is it too? I wish it was like up a little more. I don't think it looks bad. Um, this isn't permanent. We have other fake green, faux greenery. Fake makes it sound <laughs> coming, but I was just you're a little behind on life right now. But Everything's look, back ordered. These look, no, this will look good. These look will look better than the fake ones, but the fake ones I got are from afloral.com, and they're um dry. So they're, so they're real. real. But they, they look green, so how they grow, dry it? Huh. Oh, no. Does that look bad? I just wish it was kind of bigger, but I actually, wait, get it from this angle, Sarah. Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah, that looks really cute. Oh, now I'm speechless. Well, that actually looks good. Okay, literally a professional florist looks like they did that. <laughs> Just kidding. Who Shelby. is she? Shelby, come look. Who is she? Who, who is, is she? she? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the floral it looks so good. We act like everything literally is just Facebook like. <laughs> Guys, what, what you don't realize is Facebook Marketplace. Oh yeah, well, we really? need to put the before. Ten, yeah, $10 this. on good, good um, Amazon. Goodwill, $90 at Home Goods, $75 at Home Goods, on sale. which is like an insane deal for a mirror this big. Target, we cut out the mat so it'll look custom. Sendix, $3.99. He will ask him fifth store. <laughs> That's good. That's so good. My first entryway tip is to be creative with where you're looking for furniture. So usually in your entryway you have like a dresser type of piece or um, in my apartment, we'll post put a picture right here. I have like this little thin table and you will be surprised at how expensive these are to buy. And so a little tip for you is to go on Facebook Marketplace and find a 
pretty cheap piece that you can then go and kind of DIY yourself to make it look more expensive. So this right here was from Facebook Marketplace. I believe I got it for like $50, maybe it was $60. And it was painted white before, but in the description she said that it was a super old dresser and that it was really heavy, which automatically tells me that it's probably wood and not like a plasticky wood, it's a real wood situation which I was looking for a wood dresser for the entryway, but if you, even if you wanted to paint something too, that's, you could easily go to Facebook and do that as well. But that saved me so much money. I was actually about to buy a piece that looked extremely similar to this, and it was $600. So 60 versus 600, and yes, it was harder. Like, it took time and effort to sand this, but it, like, $500 worth of time is a hundred percent worth it and then we took it up another level by using these knobs and you can get knobs anywhere but these were like twelve dollars from amazon they were so cheap and then i just took some gold rubbing buff to make them gold which you've probably seen in the clips before but that just elevated this even more and that's probably the cheapest way that you'll be able to find your big entryway piece of furniture my second entryway tip is i feel like your entryway is not complete unless there's a mirror involved and usually in any entryway that you go into there's always a mirror so i had the best luck finding well one i wanted a big big circle mirror you can get any mirror that you want but i wanted this to be oversized um, and this is like the perfect scale for this piece of furniture but the cheapest place i was able to find a mirror like this i believe this one is like almost 43 inches which is huge for circle mirrors and home goods they have by far the cheapest mirrors even versus target home goods mirrors are like so much cheaper so definitely look there you could even look at facebook marketplace but my rule of thumb is if i have something older on um, like that's like vintage or used or however you want to phrase it. I always like to do the next big piece new so then it's not like old on old. So moral of this all, Home Goods is a great place to find a mirror. And my third tip is basically along those same lines but mix the old with the new. So like I said, this is new, this is new right here, this is new, and then this is new. And I feel like all of those kind of look newer, like you would not be able to go usually into a store or like find something like this that's older same with this gold circle mirror so then it neutralizes or not neutralizes but makes it look not so too like too thrifted together or too new by mixing in the older pieces so this facebook marketplace this is from um like a random antique store and then this is goodwill so those are just some easy ways that we mixed in the old with the new and buying these saves us so much money i forgot to say this but when you if you get a lamp this was from goodwill like i said a million times in this video but get a new um lamp shade with it and it will instantly make it look newer don't google like this is a big lamp so to get if i when i was starting to google lamp shades they were like 80 bucks, which is insane, considering that this lamp was like $4. So what I did was I went to Home Goods and I was actually gonna go with it two options. One, I was just gonna buy a complete lamp and then just take the lampshade off of it, which still would have been cheaper than just buying this lamp. But my Home Goods in the back of the store and like the clearance section had this that was just standing alone for $19, which is, so much better than $80 that I found on Google. The entryway was the last space in the office to finish, and I think it looks so good. It was so fun to decorate it and just put it together. And I think it looks really good too, which is always a plus. So I hope that you got some tips and tricks for your own home or apartment, and also just liked watching the entire process of it. For more decorating, cleaning, and organization videos, follow me on Instagram at BySophiaLee and subscribe to this channel.